I don't know how to live in 2019. Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Pretty good. Today on the show, I'm going to teach you how to make a lemon pepper chicken. This is a recipe that I'm, I'm not, I'm not kind of making it up as I go. And unlike almost anything else on our show, I'm literally making this with just things I found in my kitchen. So we didn't have to go shopping, which is good because John wants to play a lot of video games tonight. So we are being time efficient, hopefully. But you know, when we, uh, when we film the show and you know, things get really rolling, sometimes we lose track of time. But I do know, it's a work day. A little tired, not a whole lot of gas in the tank, but I know what works. Put that little pep in my step. It's just to drink like literally a couple cocktails and then start cooking. So tonight we're gonna start. First step is gonna be make a drink, then drink it, then make another. This is a, this is a lemon cocktail. This lemon, cause it's got lemon water. It's, uh, it's called following a theme. Tonight's theme is lemons. That's the stuff. I tell you what, that just tasted like vodka. That doesn't taste like anything at all. Okay, so, a uh, face full of vodka. I'm gonna make sides for this too. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. This is our uh, insurance policy against me undercooking the chicken, which is a very real possibility. I'm also gonna cook some farro, which is one of those ancient grains. Tastes really good. As is probably abundantly clear, I'm not overly concerned with the healthiness or the healthiness of food, but farro is legitimate really tasty so if you if you like things that taste good which most people do you may want to check that out here it is looks like some grain bullshit I'm gonna make a load of it because I like it how much liquid should go in I don't know so there's like some some water above it this is the kind of technical precision that you subscribe to this channel for this is vegetable shits also known as vegetable stock paste Alright, farro goes over there. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil and simmer it. My ice is melted. You can taste that great vodka taste. Here I have a bag. There it is. This is a one gallon bag. And there it is. To this bag, we're gonna add some flour, which will give us a little crispy coating. Here's a third of a cup of a flour. Maybe a little bit more than that. We might need more than that, I don't know. Here's my lemon pepper. It is ancient. I don't f***ing use it. It's coming out in big chunks. Looks f***ing awful. That's, you know, we're not We're fine with using that. I, I gotta break up the clumps, the clumpiness, as it is known. All right, that's maybe like a tablespoon. Maybe a little more, maybe two. In it goes. Now, in that flavored lemon pepper seasoning, there is salt, black pepper, a bunch of other shit. So you do not need to add additional salt and pepper at this time. I'm gonna just and shake that up. Looks good, looks mixed. I don't know what I'm doing. I never do. I never know what I'm doing. All right, over here, I got this big pan. This is a new pan. My mom bought this for me. It's a new, big, non-stick pan. It's not dishwasher safe, but you know, it came in a two-pack. We put that other, the smaller one in the dishwasher. Seems fine. What do you think, folks at home? Do you put non-dishwasher safe pans in your dishwasher? If you do, well, I don't care. I feel like this night's working up to a weird place. I mean, it's already weird. But I ain't gonna get more normal. Anyways, we got that like medium heat. Let's work with our chicken tits. Here they are, the big, great big chicken tits. I feel like there should be a better name for these, like whoppers or something. They're just so enormous. So you're gonna at least butterfly this once, because it's just so enormous. Looks pretty good. And if you wanted to be fancy, you could pound it out, make it thinner, make it cook faster. But I'm not gonna pound them out, because I just don't, I just don't care. Also, I, I don't, I don't know if I like that super thin chicken. Okay, so we need to dredge the chicken. I bet that would be easier if I poured this out onto a plate. The alternative is to throw the chicken in the bag, but I think that if we, no, let's try that, let's try it. Let's save a dish, let's see if it works. Throw it in the bag and shake it up. Oh, this was the right choice. That plate noise. Hi, I'm Phil. Pretty good cooking. I hate plates, especially they end up under a chicken. Sometimes I wonder if I had a stroke on the show, if you'd even notice. You probably would. Here's that faro simmer. You gotta reduce that. If you wanted to put a lid on it, you could, but I don't care. All right, let's get some uh, some frying oil. This is olive oil. I'm gonna say it like a normal human being today. Olive oil. Olive 
Oil, olive oil, olive oil. Normal human being, that's me. Definitely not an alien. I'm gonna pop a teaspoon of butter in there too. Oil and butter are better together. Butter and oil are better together. That's some nice sounds to it, doesn't it? See, I'm frying the butter in the oil. That's how you know it's good. All right, I'm gonna have this pan at the ready and I think I'm only gonna be able to fit two chicken pieces in this pan at a time. And we brown the butter a little bit and we will place one of these in. All right, here we go, chicken one. So my initial reaction is that that maybe wasn't hot enough, but let's see how it goes. And number two, potentially it could be done about five minutes a size. We're gonna do like five minutes, flip it over five minutes. If it's not done, we're just gonna put it on this pan. That's gonna go in the oven and it'll, it'll finish what we started. Here in my left hand, I am holding a pile of pole beans. You will notice that they look like green beans, and, and they are. You can see that the pole beans are longer, and I, I like them. They, I think they taste great. I appreciate their greenness and their beanness. And they are known in Latin as beanus greenness. So, like any other greenus beanus, or beanus greenus, we need to remove the endness to prevent uh, the pokiness entering our now, I feel like this is gonna be a tasty and wholesome meal. And you know, as I reflect over the many years we've been doing this show, you know, a lot of feedback I get as of late been like, oh, I miss the old reckless Phil having 10 cocktails on a weeknight, deep frying ramen noodles and shit. And I feel like we've, we've pretty successfully pe pivoted, pivoted, pivoted to something that's maybe more, you know, regular, normal, doesn't make me feel bad. And I, I know, I know the, the old days were funny, but you know, I've, I've changed, man. Like I can't, I cannot be that person. <laughs> that is not sustainable. All right, these, uh, these long beans are too long. Look at that, will that fit? I mean, yeah. yeah, but it won't fit in your mouth, so that's why we're gonna chop them. All right, look at that now. That's manageable. I tell you what, that's a, you know, you, you think about words like sustainable, manageable. So that's, that's a, that's a, that's what modern adults want. Maybe we should rename the show Manageable Cooking. I'm gonna boil these. That's healthy. All beans. We will be back with uh, manageability. <laughs> All right, these are ready to flip. You can tell the bottom is brown. And gosh, that looks pretty nice. All right, not gonna get as nice of a coat on that side, I suspect. But while we're at it, maybe let's give it another little lemon pepper. You okay, bubs? What are you doing? Okay, so I it's gonna cook a similar time. Not thin enough to just do in the pan. So that's gonna be transferred to this pan. This is a sheet pan, and this is a pot. Gonna cook the other two chickens. We're gonna cook them in the oven. Everything's gonna be great. I might make a little pan sauce. But it's not, it's, I mean, pan sauce refers to an actual kind of sauce. I'm not gonna make a pan sauce. Make a sauce in the pan. It's gonna be a cream sauce. It's gonna be full of creaminess and also maybe cremini mushrooms, which you didn't see that, uh, you know, verbal juxtaposition. You didn't see that coming there because you didn't know that I might put mushrooms in. So I might not, I might not put the mushrooms into that. I might put them with the green beans and the green beanus. So it'll be a creaminess sauce with the creamini mushrooms in the green beanus, the beanus greenus as it's known in Latin. It's, it's, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. You just gotta let the words fly and figure out where you're gonna end up. I need another drink. So it hasn't been so long on this side. You can see the bottom, not as exciting as the top. The top looks great. The bottom looks kind of bad. So I'll just put them on this pan. So I'll just chill out. And uh, this pan's, pan's getting a little f***y. So we'll hit it up a little bit with a little bit more of olive oil. Regular olive oil. And some more butter. And uh, once that comes, oh, f there's paper on that. You stop right there, paper. I don't want to eat you. Once this comes back up to heat, we'll put in the next two chicken pieces. I don't know if that's interesting at all. So maybe this footage won't even end up in the show. We will be back. We'll be back when we're ready to put it in the oven. And then, by the way, these will cook while uh, they're just sitting there. That's how heat works. Exothermic reactions and some shit like that. I don't know. Olive oil. The rest of these chicken pieces look dumb. They don't look so good. They look all right. Not as nice as the other ones though. So we're gonna stick these in the oven on maybe like five, 10 minutes. I don't know how long it's gonna take. And our pan that's full of all this juice and stuff. I'm gonna reduce that to low. And I'm gonna add some cream. I'm gonna make a little cream sauce. And I have this little thing of cream and I need to use it. So there it is. <laughs> One amount of cream. Cream, cream. So this we, we wanna mix together and it'll reduce down a little bit. Then we'll add some, some more flavors. But not too much. I don't, I don't want too much flavor. 
I got a couple Meyer lemons here. There they are, Meyer lemons. One of these I'm gonna have as a juice, and the other I'm gonna slice into pieces. I'm just gonna throw it in there. That's gonna be partially for flavor, but also for aesthetics. Got crisp penis and aesthetics. I think it'll taste just fine. You can see that cream's already starting to thicken. We just wanted to keep doing that, keep reducing down. And eventually, once it's at a nice kind of thick sauce, we'll add in the lemon juice and some parsley. Other things that could go in, if you wanted to make like a mustard sauce, that's mustard. If you want to make it like mushroomy, you could like cook some mushrooms down in that, garlic. But I'm going for simple today, so we're just gonna let that roll. And once it's thickened up, then I'll add the other things. And I might have to thicken it some more. Thicken? It's a weird verb. You don't really think in, you don't really think about saying like, I'm gonna thick something. But right now I'm thickening this sauce. But actually it's thickening, too thicken. I thicken, you thicken, it's a sauce made out of chicken. You gotta thicken the chicken sauce. You gotta thaw the chicken, then you gotta thicken th the sauce. Thaw the chicken and thicken the th <laughs> sauce. Christ, I can't say that. Thaw the chicken and thicken the sauce. Okay, this sauce is thick. I'm gonna turn the heat completely off. I'm gonna throw some of these lemons in. And I'm gonna hit it with uh, the juice. That's like half of the lemon juice. Looks nice. And then I'm gonna add freeze dried parsley. That's the classy finish. So classy. Okay, we're gonna mix that up. You know, it doesn't look like much of a sauce. Not really a whole lot of sauce there. Maybe just a few spoonfuls. But honestly, this is, we're trying to be a little healthy here. Healthiness. And we're just gonna maybe give it a spoonful. Don't have to be a lot. We'll just let that sit for now. Forget about it. I think that faro's done. I'm gonna turn the heat off completely on that. Oh yeah, it's done. It's starting to stick to the bottom, actually. Those greeny beanies are probably done, too. Not even gonna taste them. Just turn it off. And all we got left to do is finish the chicken, plate her up, paint a little sauce on there. It's not a pan sauce. It's a cremina sauce. And then uh, we'll be done. A nice, simple, relatively healthy meal. I bet this is in some meal kit. Something like this. Be back momentarily. I tasted the sauce, raw sauce, no ketchup. Needs salt. Needs like a lot of salt. There's no salt flavor. So that'll, that'll get a nice and saucy. Salty sauce. That's good. It's real good. Home stretch, folks. Be back. All right, it's been a few minutes. Chickens, ah, that shit's done. Look at that. Just looks done. You can press on it, probably done. Okay, so here's the, the way we test is we chop into it. Preferably chop into some piece that you're not gonna use for the thumbnail in the video. Look at that, perfectly cooked chicken. So the other chicken must obviously be done, so we're not even gonna f with that. Let's plate her up, boys! And girls, and everything else. Whatever you are, you are included. All right, greeny beanies, I like them. There they are. Nice and tidy, all parallel. What is a spoon? What is a spoon? Okay, here's our farro. Yeah, I like that so much. Name of grain better than farro. Here's our lemon chicken, which will play just like that. And we will sparingly put some of the sauce on it. And we're gonna try to aim to do it in such a way that you can still see some of that beautiful brown coating that we have. So just a little bit of that sauce, not too much. Clean up our plate. I think that's aesthetically pleasing. I don't know about you guys. Our green beans are definitely gonna need some salt. And that's a picture time. It's about to be a food time. All right, general jabronis. Let's see how this tastes. We're gonna go for that middle chicken section. Just to prove that we knew what we were doing. Look at that, a gorgeous, a gorgeous sinner. Nothing I like better than a cross section of a chicken whopper. How does it taste? Go it in. It's so f good. This chicken could use whatever legal technicality to claim ownership of my mouth. I'd be okay with it. That is so f***ing good. Easy recipe. No bullshit. The fire is great. Duh, cause it's the best f***ing grain. Paul bean. Tastes fine. That's how you do it, folks. Everyday gourmet. Some mother meal prep company probably charge you like $90 for that. For two tiny portions, we made it for zero dollars because it was already in my kitchen. Take that f***ing Hello Fresh Bon Appetit. That's not right. Blue Ribbon. Ah, uh, what are the other ones? I don't f***ing know. God bless you and your family. Good night, everyone. See you next time. <laughs>